not take it. The choice is up to you, my friend. The nights are long, but you might wake to a brand new life, brand new life, brand new life around the bay. Oh, 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 oh. Holy my hey. <laughs> a mail. <laughs> Is that the mail? Uh expecting something special? Well, it is almost Valentine's Day. Oh, really? Yeah. Really? Huh? Let me see here, Mona. Oh, Mona. 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 <laughs> Mona. 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 Oh, here's one oh. for you. <laughs> I love you too, Dad. <laughs> you sure there's nothing else? Oh, wait, wait. <gasps> oh! What? What? Oh, smell. <laughs> that is some heavy aftershave. That's Chad McCann. Yeah, well, keep it away from an open flame. Oh, Marcy's, Marcy's gonna die. Was that the mail? Anything for me? Yeah, yeah, I think there's, uh, there's one for you. Really? There you are. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, how nice. Southern Connecticut gas, didn't forget. <laughs> well, look, I think I'm gonna run these up to Mona and add to her collection. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> hey, Mom, guess what? We qualified for the spring tournament at the club. I'm not wonderful, sweetheart. Now all I need is a partner. Well, wh what about Stephen, honey? Mom, it's a junior-senior tournament. I'm gonna play with my dad. He's the best golfer. Well, my dad is the best golfer, too. Right, Mom? Oh, yes, sweetheart, he, he, he is. And, and I'm sure that he would love to play with you. But you know, your, your dad's real busy now that he's married again, you know, and he's living in California. You understand what I'm trying to say? No. <laughs> your dad's a no-show. Oh. Sweetheart, I'll play golf with you. You? Well, yeah, we'll make a great team. Bauer, power. You'd better think fast, Bauer. <laughs> Mom, you're not my dad. Everyone's going to be playing with their fathers. Jonathan, I'm sorry, honey, but your father just cannot come. Uh, hey, yeah, uh, I got an idea. How about if I play with you? Oh, Yay! that's a wonderful <laughs> idea, isn't it, sweetheart? Yeah! Just one thing, mm -hmm. I want to win. <laughs> hey, hey, go. Oh, I used to be a professional ball player. What are you kidding? So, do you play golf? <laughs> no, no, no. But hey, hey, a ball's a ball, and this one ain't even moving. Ah! <laughs> 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. That makes me one ahead of Marcy and three behind Robin. How are you doing, Mona? Still counting. <laughs> I'm going to break three digits this year. <laughs> I remember one Valentine's. I was in the eighth grade. No, it was the ninth grade. I got a gigantic card from a secret admirer. It was the eighth grade. Your father and I sent that one. <laughs> Who cares? It's a commercial holiday anyway. <laughs> To you. I got some new clothes at the pro shop. My dad actually let you buy those? Playing through. <laughs> Not bad, huh? Not bad. Well, you certainly brighten up a room. <laughs> dad, please tell me you didn't see anyone I know. Uh, just Chad McCann. That's it. We have to move. <laughs> My dad and I are gonna win this tournament. Yeah, me and Tony are too. Every year. What makes you think he's gonna be here next year? Sure he will. Wise up, Bauer. Housekeepers come and go. Ours just quit. Oh, well how come? Well, her brother became president of the country they're from. <laughs> Tony would never leave me. 
Well, maybe your mom might fire him. Mm, no, my mom really likes him. Hey, maybe that's your angle. What do you mean? Well, if you don't want Tony to leave, just get him to marry your mom. Hey, good idea. <laughs> How do I do that? It's simple, you twerp. It's Valentine's Day. <laughs> oh. Well, you sure know a lot about life. Well, I am eight and a half. <laughs> oh, I'll get it. Happy Valentine's Day. Oh, thank you. Well, isn't this nice? I wonder who could have... What? I don't believe it. What is it, Mother? They're for you. <laughs> Listen to this. Dinner tonight, Shay Renee, eight o'clock. What do you say? Oh, wonder who could have sent these. Well, it wasn't Robert Browning. <laughs> maybe it's someone who really likes you. Oh, Angela, maybe it was that Frenchman you met at the Anderson's party last Saturday night. Oh, uh, Jean-Jacques, uh, Jacques Jean. Uh, you think he'd do something wild and romantic like this? Well, the French did not get a kiss named after them for nothing. So, you gonna go, Mom? Oh, sweetheart, I don't know. Oh, Angela, come on. For once in your life, go for the cheap thrill. <laughs> yeah, Mom. You never know. You might get lucky. <laughs> Whatever that means. Well, I, uh, I usually don't take offers like this. You usually don't get offers like this. <laughs> oh, well. oh, it's Valentine's Day. Oh, why not? Oh, you footloose vixen, you. <laughs> All right, baby, that's it. That's it. Thank you. Hey, Tony, look oh. what I found at the front door. For me? Oh, oh. A, a valentine. Who's it from? I don't know, but whoever she is, she's got great taste. Yeah. <laughs> what, 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 what? Listen to this. You're a real hunk. The apple of my eyes. Come to Shea Renee at eight, and you gotta wear a tie. <laughs> you like the poem, huh? Yeah. So you gonna go, Tony? Well, I don't know, Jonathan. You know, a blind date could be Alpo time. <laughs> uh uh. I mean, maybe you know who the lady is. Hmm. Hey, maybe there's a clue in the poem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Apple of my eye, apple of my eye. Maybe it's that redhead I met at the fruit stand. Mm. She was uh. red and delicious, I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> maybe it's someone even better. You know, stuff, Joe, I think you're right, huh? I mean, hey, what do I got to lose? It's Valentine's Day, right? Hey, hey. I'll say some mysterious stranger invited me to a fancy, romantic restaurant. Oh, I'd go. That's what you think. <laughs> no, not the ear, Dad. Come on, not come on, come on, come on, Dad. Get going, get going. Yay. Excuse me. I'm Angela Bauer, and I'm here to meet a French man. <laughs> you have come to the right place. <laughs> I have your table ready. This way, madame. Oh, thank you. This isn't like me at all. I usually don't do this sort of thing. But my mother, who talked me into this, she does do this sort of thing all the time. <laughs> Is she perhaps a red-headed lady? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, thank you. Hey, um, I'm Tony Maselli, and uh, I'm here to make a lucky lady's Valentine wish come true. <laughs> Which one is she? <laughs> uh, she has just arrived. Oh, yeah, yeah, wait a minute, wait a minute. How's she look? Mwah. Magnifique. <laughs> Especially if monsieur is a leg man. Ooh. I am, I am. <laughs> Ooh, lead the way, Renee. <laughs> Here is the lucky lady. <laughs> you? 
Love is in the air. <laughs> Angela, Angela. <laughs> Tony, Tony. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Oh, well, uh, I think your poem said it all. <laughs> my poem? Yeah, you know, uh, you're a real hunk, the apple of my eye. Come to Chez Renee at eight, and you gotta wear a tie. Do you like it? <laughs> well, I love the tie, but I didn't write that dreadful poem. Look, you just wanted me to be a Valentine, and now you're just too afraid to admit it, hey? Tony, you want me to be your Valentine. That's why you invited me to dinner. I invited you? <laughs> Dream on. <laughs> <laughs> You didn't invite me? You didn't invite me? And what are we doing here? Yeah, wait a minute. Hey, uh, yo, whoa, monsieur. Come here. Where is monsieur? <laughs> I think there must be some mistake. I gotta be at the wrong table here. Manon, monsieur, your host was perfectly clear. Monsieur Misselli and Madame Bauer. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hey. Our host? We have a host? Ah, uh, yes. And he asked to remain anonymous. Yeah? Who is he? <laughs> Chez René will not say. Can you give us a hint? Your host is Monsieur Bauer. <laughs> Monsieur Bauer? Michael? My ex-husband is paying for this? Why? Maybe he's, maybe he's just trying to be nice. Nah. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. He set up this get-together. Do you, you don't think he wants us to uh, get together? I mean, not that we would. Oh, of course not. Why would he want us to get together? Well, I mean, if we got together, like married, then, then, then he wouldn't have to pay any more child support. Child support? That's not going to stop even if we do get married. Oh, wait a minute. It would stop if I adopted Jonathan. Tony, you would do that? That is so sweet. Thank you, Angela, but we're not getting married. Oh, right. <laughs> and you know what else? If Michael's paying, I ain't eating. No oh, way. Come on, you know, let's get you're, out. you're absolutely right. Michael. Let's get out of here. Wait a, wait a minute. Michael wants to ply us with gourmet food at his expense. Let's get plied. <laughs> oh, madame. Monsieur. Oh, I think it's a savez-vous, eh? Very good. <laughs> hey, uh, hey Rene, bring some champagne. Dom Perignon. Yeah, yeah hey, madame. I don't want to see that bucket empty all night. Who knows? Maybe later we'll take a bath in it. <laughs> <laughs> Separately, of course. Of course. <laughs> well, Angela's out late tonight. No, it's only 10 o'clock. For Angela, that's late. <laughs> so, where'd she go? She has a rendezvous with a mysterious stranger. That's amazing. <laughs> I know. <laughs> no, no, the same thing happened to Dad. He got invited to Chez Renee by some lady who writes really bad poetry. <laughs> Angela is at Chez Renee. <laughs> Have Mom and Tony come home yet? No. Well, let me know when they get home. Wait, 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 just one minute here. What do you mean by Mom and Tony? What do you know about this? Oh, did I say Mom and Tony? Oh, I meant Mom or Tony. Or Mom. <laughs> or Tony. Or anyone at Chez Renee. <laughs> Jonathan! Did you set them up for Valentine's Day? Uh, how could you do that? Well, it was easy. I gave them Mom's credit card. <laughs> <laughs> they won't take a credit card from an eight-year-old kid. They will if you wrap it at a 20. <laughs> Mm. Oh, man. Oh, wasn't that veal delicious? Oh, hey, 
Don't forget the shrimp cocktails, the caviar quiche, the uh, the, the lobster souffle, the Chateaubriand with truffles. <laughs> the chocolate mousse, the cherry's jubilee, oh, the raspberry tart. Aye, aye, aye. Oh, wait till Michael sees this bill. <laughs> Couldn't have it to a nicer guy. <laughs> oh, Tony, I had a wonderful time, even if I didn't fall in love. You didn't? Well, I could spend the rest of my life with that chocolate mousse. <laughs> Can't stay here all night. Yeah, let's blow this pop stand. <laughs> oh, oh, wait. Uh, allow me, Renee. Allow me. Here you go. Oh, take that out of the way. Here you are. Your place or mine. <laughs> I see everything has worked out after all. Oh, Renee, thank you. Oh, oh Tony, wait. What? Uh, if we go home together, then they'll think we were out together. We were out together. <laughs> well, I, I know, but I, I don't want the children to get the wrong idea, and Mother has always had it. <laughs> all right, look, I'll tell you what, let's keep this our little secret, OK? OK. Come on, let's go. Oh, I hope everything was to your liking. Oh, oh, yeah, it was terrific. Hey, I didn't know you could keep Brandy a hundred years. Ah! <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was wonderful, Rene. Thank you, and please make sure to take 20% for the waiter. Merci, madame. Oh, oh, oh. Take 20% for yourself, too. Oh, <laughs> big spender. Hey, hey, easy come, easy go. <laughs> Au revoir, Rene. Bonsoir. Hey, take it slow, Rene. <laughs> Hello, children. Hello, mother. Hello, daughter. <laughs> hey, mom. We should date. Oh, uh, Jean-Jacques. Uh, he had to leave. Back to France. Au revoir, JJ. <laughs> no, no. Where's Tony? Tony? Uh, uh I don't know. <laughs> How would I know? Hello, everybody. Oh, there he is. Hello, Tony. Uh, hello, Angela. My, my. What a lovely dress. I don't think I've seen it before. You haven't, and I love that tie. Oh, do you like this tie? Oh, so yeah. sweet. How is the date? Ah, uh, you know, I've had better. <laughs> I'm sure you have. <laughs> but you were supposed to be together. What? Now, wait a minute, pal. What do you mean we were supposed to be together? Because that's how I planned it. You what? I set it up. You're Mr. Bauer? <laughs> you ought to know you're his mother. <laughs> Jonathan, where did you get the money to pay for a dinner like this? It was over $300. Hold it, hold it. I want a good seat for this one. <laughs> Used your credit card. I knew I should have asked for a doggy bag. Now, Jonathan, I, I don't know what kind of a stunt you've pulled, but you better have a very good explanation. Now, you tell me why you did this. I wanted you and Tony to get married. Kids say the darndest things. <laughs> oh, sweetheart. Tony and I aren't getting married. Well, you could. You are not married. He's not married. You like him. He likes you. <laughs> Even after he's seen you in your bathroom. Oh, <laughs> sweetheart. That's not enough of a reason to get married. Then why do people get married? Uh, well, Jonathan, you know, first you gotta love each other, you know? <laughs> Well, you two love each other, don't you? <laughs> well, sweetheart, uh, uh, there, there are all kinds of love. There's the way you love your family. Oh, and the way you love your snake. <laughs> and the way you love your housekeeper. <laughs> Good night, mother. <laughs> I'd love to stay and see you weasel out of this one, but uh, my Valentine's Day is just beginning. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Sweetheart, come here. Tony and I love each other, but like friends, not like married people. But what's the difference? S-E-X. <laughs> that and get it over with. <laughs> well, yeah, why don't you? <laughs> Good night, Sam. Good night, Dad. Good night. Good night, Mom. <laughs> Sweetheart, what is all this about? I don't want Tony to go away. Wait a minute. Whoa. What makes you think I'm going anywhere? Because that's what happens to housekeepers. You can move away and get another job, or your brother might become president of Brooklyn. <laughs> you lost me on the Brooklyn part. But hey, I ain't getting another job. Well, what if you change your mind and go away like Daddy did? Look, Jonathan. I can't promise you that I'm always going to live here, but one thing that's never going to change is we're best buddies, right? Yeah. And, and one thing that best buddies never do is let each other down. No, they don't. Now, look. Look, listen to me. I don't got to be married to your mom to be here for you anytime and every time you need me, OK? OK, Tony. That's my boy. Uh <laughs> but maybe someday you and Mom will change your mind and have sex anyway. <laughs> Who's the boss will be back in a moment. Stick around. You too? Oh. I can't believe I ate the whole thing. <laughs> Tony, we ate more than the whole thing. I think it was that caviar quiche. Mm -mm. It was the chocolate mousse and the cherries jubilee and the whipped cream. Angela, and the... please. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Well. Anyway, it was worth it. <laughs> yeah, it was. Well, boss, happy Valentine's Day. Thank you, Tony. And by the way, you do look kind of cute in that bathrobe. 